Earth certainly needs to catch up with the Martians in the technology race. For this reason, an automatic explorer ship has been sent toward the Sun. The data collected will be essential for our new fusion drive technology, so High Command has ordered a military escort for Icarus. Although the situation with Mars has worsened recently, we don't expect any direct attack in the inner zones of the solar system. Remain vigilant. The Icarus is an automatic pilot and cannot change course to avoid possible threats. Stay close, Captain. You have also gained access to the USSF military database, containing information about how to handle your ships, as well as basic tactical information. You can reach all non-classified data from your personal console using the F1 key. Welcome, Captain. This is a routine patrol. There should be no problems. The Icarus is right in front of you, just starting her engines. If you're unsure about following her, refer to the Star Map Info section of the USSF military database. Then, recon the area before the Icarus's arrival to assure nothing interferes with the first part of the mission. Captain, unidentified ships closing in. Defend the Icarus. is now heading toward the sun. Make sure your ships don't get too close. The Icarus is equipped to withstand heat, but you are not. The situation has changed, Captain. Our scientists, led by Laura Meloni, have sighted a large, previously undetected meteor. Destroy it before it collides with the Icarus. The ship is vulnerable, so get going! Colonel, this can't be true. Our radar hasn't picked up anything yet. I repeat, Captain. A meteor is out there, and if it destroys the Icarus, our project is doomed! Assemble your team and get rid of it! That's an order! Dismissed!
Mission accomplished, Colonel. Icarus is safe and sound on low orbit near the sun. What are your orders from now on? Well done, Captain. But let's not celebrate yet. Return to base. We have received reports of marauding Martian forces, and we need you to deal with this immediately. The situation is getting worse. We have received disturbing news about recent Martian attacks. Thus, we need to show that Earth is capable of maintaining bases in the outer regions of the solar system. Your forces will replace Captain McCain's fleet and escort a newly built mining base to Rhea and deploy it there. In addition to ensure the base's security, you must intercept any suspected Martian agents wandering around the base. It is absolutely essential that the base arrives safely at its destination. Headquarters will notice anything strange. Greetings, Captain. Since space is relatively quiet as far out as the asteroid belt, let's use the time to get you familiar with the information screens. Refer to the Star Map and Battle Options sections of the USSF Military Database. Your life may depend on their effective use. show enemy fighters closing in on the base. Eliminate them as you did with a meteor. Try using different attack modes in order to maximize your firepower and the effectiveness of your attack. Your ships are under attack. There's another situation arising. We've received reports about two trader ships trying to smuggle weapons to the Martians. Intercept them. If they see your superior firepower, they will almost certainly surrender. You can expect heavier attacks from the Martians, though.
trader has been located and is not responding to warnings. Intercept it. and is not responding to warnings. Intercept it. Awaiting your orders. Target selected. Enough! Enough! Cease fire! We surrender! Don't destroy us, please! We found an unknown ship near Titan. If you need it, Grab it. Unprovoked attack, Commander. Who is your commanding officer? I will personally guarantee that you'll be punished for this. I am Captain Jack Garner of the USSF. You can report me anytime, friend, but don't forget to mention your wares as well. Well, um, it, it was all a misunderstanding, Captain. I won't report you, of course. Just let me continue on my way. You may continue your journey, but only as far as our base, where your ship will be checked for any illegal contraband. And remember, any deviation from that course will immediately result in the destruction of your vessel. But... Chat over. Move along.
Waiting for your orders. Captain, we can presume that the Corvettes, which were spotted entering the area, are the last of the attackers. How many are there? I might run out of ships. That may be true, Captain, but we can't help you. We're too far away. Try to avoid the heavier firepower of the Corvettes, but destroy the intruders at all cost. Over and out. Captain. Major Jonathan Sanders speaking. You've done well so far, but you don't stand a chance against my squad. If you hold your fire and leave us to seize the station, we will spare your ships as well as your men. Think about it, Captain. I'll bear that in mind, Major. You have one last chance to surrender before I order my units to attack your corvettes. All right, Captain. Enough of this idle chatter. All units, prepare to attack! Yes? Nice piece of work, Captain. Your forces were outnumbered, but you came out on top. We managed to capture the Major as well. He's being questioned right now. He was amazed at your fighting capabilities and sent you his compliments. Thank you, sir. He gave us a tough fight, but it was a fair one. Yes, indeed. Perhaps we can convince him to join our cause later, though I'm not sure about that. Now, back to business. No other attackers have been sighted on the screen, so we think they've wasted enough ships on this attack. Return to base, Captain, and take a break. Your next mission awaits you. Understood, sir. Squad is on its way home. Captain, both opposing sides are trying to create outposts in the outer solar system. We have chosen a site near Pluto. Reinforce the base and begin mining operations there. The extracted ore will be at your disposal for this purpose. In addition, you must seek out the Martian base somewhere near Neptune and put a stop to all Martian activity there. Mm. 
Now you have some serious decisions to make, Captain. Distributing funds is always tricky, and we expect attack by a sizable task force. The production section in the database could be helpful. Try reinforcing your squad as well as building new ones. You must have a larger fleet to face the challenge. Message. Captain, the Major of the Martian fleet you defeated near Rhea has offered to join us. I personally believe in his good intentions and wanted to place him under your command, but HQ has decided otherwise. He will fulfill a secret mission to us first. But I think you will meet him soon. No funds for ship maintenance. funds for ship maintenance. Incoming message. Captain, we on Earth only hope that you're well prepared because a large squadron, including reinforcements, has been detected on our radar, moving toward your base. Everything's ready, sir. I will order my units to prepare themselves for the attack. I'm glad you are confident, Captain. But what concerns us is whether the attackers have corvettes in their ranks as well. We think they're using the same tactical formation as at Rhea. Their numbers are superior, and you'll have little time between attacks. I advise you to take care of your squad and the installations. Over and out. Awaiting your orders.
Destroyed. Target acquired. Your ships are under attack. I got him. on the Neptune base. One of the officers there is our agent and will weaken the military base's defenses. Seize the moment or you won't stand a chance. Understood, sir.
Setting destination. Let's move. Yes? Awaiting your orders. Let's move. Setting destination. Sergei Artemov has been shot down. Artemov encrypted what he stole so the Martians don't know what we've got. He also managed to sabotage the base's defenses. This is your only chance to defeat this installation. No one, I repeat, no one can escape the station.
Congratulations, Major. Since you've shown such impressive leadership skills, High Command wants to try you out in more serious situations. You'll take command of a small outer base on Io. Your task won't be easy. You'll have to catch up with Mars in the technology race and prepare yourself for the final showdown against Mars by flushing out the enemy presence in the area. Destroy all their mining bases in the asteroid belt, but stay away from Mars for the time being. Greetings, Major. I'm Laura Maloney, and I'll be your contact person, or should I say contact scientist, in future. As our research resources aren't infinite, look out for possible alternatives and try easier inventions. For further information on research, please read the related topics in the database. Okay, okay, hang on a minute. I'm no scientist. I can't see the point of all this research stuff. How can it help my units? Well, let me explain, Major. Research isn't no only about working with plants, use. animals, cells, and so on, but it's also about finding ways to develop new technologies, such as new weapons and shields for your fleet. I think that you, as a Major, will understand the importance of the latter. Science. Okay. Major Sanders, Major? He was the officer who offered his services for us after that battle at Rea. Well, he was ordered to disable a military base nearby. He managed to stop the base's engine in an asteroid field and the base is being deteriorated since then. Unfortunately, he is being held captive there and will die if you cannot bring him out alive. Be careful, though. This base may still be operational. Kodiak, over and out. Yes? Waiting for your orders. I almost forgot one thing, Major. You'll have to research the Corvette hull since you'll need it for the attack on Mars. You've got a free hand in deciding how to use your remaining research power. You can speed up the process by assigning more people to additional tasks on your planets. Mm, sounds complicated. I'm sure you're up to it, Major. Let's get to work.
Nice work, Major. We're now able to produce Corvette-class ships. Earth will start mass production immediately. a rescue action for Major Sanders at all? After he showed he is willing to work for us, he doesn't deserve to die on a doomed military station. soon come to terms with this research stuff. It's vital for our success in the war with Mars, and I'm convinced that science gives one a vantage point in tricky situations. I'm not sure about this, but I'm trying hard to familiarize myself with the idea. Thanks for your patience, Laura. At your service, Major.
Major, stay away from Mars. That was a clear order from me. HQ already has a plan to conquer it, and you can mess everything up if your forces are discovered. Turn back immediately!
away. Your ships are under attack. Target acquired. What a shot!
your order. Setting okay. destination. Your ships are under attack. Let's crush them!
Let's go. Acknowledge. Let's move. Okay. Waiting for your order. Acknowledge. Yes? Okay. Awaiting your orders. Awaiting your orders. We're on the move. Consider it done. are under attack. Headquarters has decided to try out a completely new tactic in the final attack against Mars. Special forces will sneak through the asteroid belt and decoy the defenders while we make a swift and deadly assault on the bases. You will lead this special force, and as a gesture from Headquarters, your units will be called the Legions of Iron from now on. This is in recognition of your past deeds, Major. Very few young officers have achieved anything like this. In the battle for Mars, follow your orders exactly. 
you won't be required to make a direct attack on the defending bases. This will be the hardest battle of your life, Major. Don't let us down. Major, the planet is well defended, and we need our main forces in the attack against it, so we can only let you have a small force under Captain McCain's command for no the surprise attack. For ship maintenance. Follow her units. The route is programmed on her navigation computer. Thank you, Colonel. Welcome, Captain McCain. We await your ready signal. Ready, Major Garner. Our weapons are armed, so let's get moving. Let's go then, Captain. Yes? It's a trap. We can see previously undetected Martian units in front of us. What are your orders? Calm down, Major. High Command thinks that the fleet stationed here was waiting for us, and our radar screens were disrupted in the asteroid field. It was an error we failed to take into account. Colonel, the fleet has started to move towards us. I'm a patient man, but I'm still waiting for your orders. Major, we are having trouble receiving your voice. There are disturbances on the communication link. We're not able to hear you. Your orders are to destroy Mars. Colonel! Colonel! I can't hear you, dammit! Good day to you, Major Garner. My name is Nilia Cotelliari. I am Major of the Martian Army and in command of the units lined up against you. My orders are to eliminate any Earth unit entering this field without warning. But since you've been the talk of Mars ever since you dispatched our forces on Neptune, I decided to give you time to consider turning back to Earth. Nevertheless, I can't say I like you. Excuse me, but I have my orders too, and your units happen to concern us. It's me who gives you time to consider leaving. Well, Major, since both of us share a sense of duty and a desire to respect orders, I think we need waste no more time. Let's get this straight, Major. I'm here to carry out a military order, not indulge in chit-chat. So let's find out who's up to this situation. Major, those units were not there by accident. We have discovered a stranded prototype of a ship. Go and get it for us. We'll give you an estimated location. Go quickly, but stay alert. Target locked. He won't like that. I think I saw an escape pod launched from Major Cortelliari's corvette, but I'm not gonna risk my men by pursuing her through the asteroid field. Since our comlink is still jammed, I suggest we carry out the orders received earlier from Colonel Kordiak. My remaining units are under your direct command, sir. Consider it done. Setting destination. Acknowledged. Destroyed it! Too bad. But at least they won't be able to use it against us. Resume your original course, Major. Target destroyed. I like that! Awaiting your orders. 
Your orders? your units to the weaker side of the bases or destroy the weapons installations on them to secure an advantageous position. Go! Oh, yes, sir. officially over. But one of our outer bases has detected unusual goings-on, so I guess there'll be more work soon for the Legion of Iron. Return to base, Major. Humanity is once again reunited under the new, unified government. Hostilities came to an end, and the new political system meets the approval of both sides. The Legion of Iron has an important role in this new situation. Our primary goal is to explore the wormholes and neighboring systems. We provide you with a prototype, the colonization ship to ensure that you can establish a foothold in the unknown. All of humanity wishes you the best of luck, Major.
Greetings, Major. I am Heinrich Dohm, Vice Secretary for the new Unified Government. I'll be your contact person from now on. As you know, we have discovered three no wormholes in the solar weapons. system. After thorough research, they all seem to function properly. Since we were unable to choose which one you should pass through, we thought about letting you decide which one to take. Your orders? Yes? Welcome to the new system of your choice. I wish you perseverance, success, and luck. Again, Major. I hope everything is going well. Looks like everything is all right so far. I must admit that I was mistaken for thinking science somehow ethereal. With this part over, establishing a new colony will be a cakewalk. I'm just a bit concerned about these reporters on board. I guess many people watch the first images coming from this new system. To be exact, the whole world knows about it. Those media people certainly know their job, I must say. But I didn't call you to ask how you're managing things out there. There is a problem with our current wormhole drive technology which we've been unable to solve yet. The problem is, well, frankly, serious. Just when I thought I was coming to terms with science, unexpected events make me think twice about it. Do we have details on our problem? After your jump, they became highly unstable and could be disastrous if used again. Therefore, I suggest that you don't try to use them for any additional jumps before we manage to solve the problem. I know this isn't the news you've been waiting for, but we'll do our best to overcome this as soon as possible. Hope to see you soon, Major, and presumably with better news. May I remind you, Major, that using the jump nodes is very dangerous now. Nice work so far, Major. Keep it up. Since you established the colony, we have received two reports from our teams. The first is good, but the second, is soll ich sagen, is not so good. Which one shall I start with? Good news always comes first, sir. All right. Laura and her team are very close to solving your hyperjump problem so you won't be stranded out there for too much longer. Seems like science still needs time to give way. So what's the not-so-good news? Well, watch this recording without comment. Your colony... As you might have noticed already, Major, this vessel is very strange, not to say alien. And it is very dangerous as well. We have already lost one ship there, which made the recording you saw, and no one knows how and why it disappeared. Your 
colony has reached the target population of 300 million inhabitants. Congratulations. Let's go. our wish that you send out a small exploration team for further investigation as soon as the wormholes are functioning again. We need more data on this bizarre phenomenon as it seems to be our first contact with something or someone wholly alien to us. This is not just a strange vessel, but perilous too. Proceed with extra caution, Major. Do I need to ask for your permission for a small inspection around this object? Too bad. You're stranded there. This was filmed in another system, and since you can't go through any wormhole, it will stay out of reach. Believe me, though, you can take a nice photo of it sooner or later. Target selected. are under attack. Eat that! I've got him!
Your colony is under attack. What a shot! Yes? Your ships are under attack. is under attack. He won't like that! Your ships are under attack.
Your orders? Enemy taken out. This is gonna hurt. Your ships are under attack. Your orders? I like that. are under attack. Enemy destroyed. Enemy destroyed.
I've got him! Yes? Target destroyed. Awaiting your orders. Your ships this is are gonna hurt! Attack. Your ships are under attack. Setting destination. is under attack.
for your orders. Enemy destroyed. Yes. Your ships I've are got under him. attack. Waiting for your orders. Won't like that! Message. Your colony is now ready for trading with Earth. Fine job, Major. Your success in outer space helped us considerably to calm tempers at home. We can't wait for your complete report. We have some issues to discuss about how to make further progress as well. Foothold has been successfully established, but we still have a few difficulties. First, the hyperdrive jump problem is still not resolved, so your units cannot make contact with the solar system. On the other hand, before the wormholes were shut tight, pirates swarmed into the newly discovered system and are now endangering our plans. These savages are fairly strong, since they armed themselves using leftovers from the Earth-Mars war some of which use the best technology available. Their leader, Christian Martins, has already contacted us, and I can say that he's quite an annoying person. Don't underestimate him and his followers. Be prepared for some serious attacks. Building some serious defenses could help a lot. Nice to see you again, Major. Laura's team continues its work to find a solution to the hyperjump problem. We can only hope that the pirates are not as strong as they were reported to be. There is another little problem, though. Your former adversary, Nelia Cotigliari, while making a hyper-jump, suffered a serious accident. She is lost somewhere out there. 
Her supplies are running out, so find her now before she dies. Consider it done. No funds for ship maintenance. Incoming message. on the horizon. Nilia Cortiliari? I've come to bring you out of here. Thank you very much, my savior. Waiting for your orders. Excuse me. Do you have any objections to me, sir? Nilia, I thought you would never join the Legions of Iron. Believe me, it was not as easy as it seemed. But I decided I still wanted to serve humanity. Many of my men and superiors were victims of the war. But some of them survived, and they all served within the ranks of the Unified Army. My only serious problem was you. That's my problem, too. I thought we could never serve together, Nilia, because there's something you owe me. An explanation. I already explained to your superiors and to Instructor Fordes, who was my commanding officer during the war. Adamov died because he preferred to die honestly, in battle. After we surrounded him, he was ordered to surrender. He tried to break loose and began shooting at our units. My men's lives were on the line. You probably don't know this, but I've seen the footage. And thinking about those images again, I must admit you're telling the truth. I was so eaten up and so blinded by fury that I overlooked a few details. I'm glad we cleared up that incident. But how about you? You shot all my men and the station back at Neptune. It was a military action. My orders were to take out the base and its defenses. And I did everything to carry out my orders. It may sound callous to you, but if you were in my shoes, you'd have done the same. Without even thinking of your enemy, their families... Feelings. I take your point. You're right. I think, as a soldier, I would have acted the same. I still feel sorry for all those who died in this war. But life goes on, as the cliché goes, and the most important thing is that I can serve humanity again. Interesting things are happening here. We've made a marvelous scientific breakthrough, and I want to be a part of it. I'm glad to have such a skilled commander with me, Major. 
Check in with the units ASAP. We're expecting company any minute. Message. Mr. Stone, is Major Cotillari the companion you promised me earlier? Yes. Any problem with her, Major? She was one of the fiercest officers against us in the Martian War. How could she be on our side now? It seemed too easy, but I've had a word with her. Major Cotillari is one of our best officers, a woman of pride and honor. It wasn't easy to convince her that our goals and future were the same. And I think in her heart of hearts, she'll always be drawn towards Mars. But she is loyal to our human race. You can trust her, Major, as you can yourself. Believe me on that one. I have my doubts, sir. I acknowledge her skills, but I hope her loyalty is as strong as you claim. You'll make a great team, Major. There's no doubt about that. Thank you, sir. I'll do my best. We expect nothing more nor less. See you soon, Major. your orders. Your ships are under attack.
Your colony is under attack. Your ships are under attack. I like that. Awaiting your orders. Your orders? Your ships are under attack. Yes?
Your ships are under attack. Enemy destroyed. base, our little colony can protect itself against savage attack. We're on oh our God. way. The weapon system of the new military base has a serious malfunction. The technicians have begun working on it. Try defending it until it's operational again. Major, this is an emergency situation. Your new colony was sabotaged. A disguised merchant entered the hangar and blew up his cargo full of explosives. Fortunately, the attack only decreased the status of the base, and although it suffered a great deal of damage, it's still operational. You will have to remain alert. Your ships are under this incident attack. should be a warning of things to come. Fine work. With this military base, our little colony can protect itself against savage attack. It seems that the production level has been normalized on your colony. Thank God our technicians have done a great job. The military base is fully functional. That was one hell of a fight, Major. Now that we've repelled their main attack, and it certainly was their main attack, judging by the size of it, you might consider destroying their base. Awaiting your orders.
Your colony is under attack. Orders? Try to follow where the pirates are coming from. It's sure to reveal their hideout. your orders. Your ships are under attack. Setting destination. Your 
Consider it done. Your orders? Your ships are under attack. Setting destination. Yes? Your order. 
orders. Your ships are under attack. Your ships are under attack. Your ships are under attack. Target destroyed. Your orders?
ships are under attack. 